This is a simple series circuit. It's a DC circuit, which DC stands for direct current. And we have at, in series one resistor. And in series just means that things are in stream, they're in line. Um, that's going to be in comparison to a parallel circuit, which we'll cover next. Um, but in series, any current that goes through this first resistor, once it gets through the first resistor, has to go through the second resistor. There are no off-ramps. You can't take a different road. You have to go through this one to get to the next one, and then they go around in a loop. So a direct current circuit, remember that the, this is the battery, the DC uh, power supply. The longer line represents the positive terminal and the shorter line represents the negative terminal. And we're dealing with what's called conventional current, uh, where we go from the positive around the circuit and into the negative. Again, this would be positive five volts right here, because I've decided to have a five volt battery. So that would be at the positive terminal, that would be plus five volts. And at the negative terminal, is zero volts. A battery, think of a battery as a, an energy source where the uh, charges gain energy going through the battery. It's like taking the elevator and gaining potential energy. So this is electric potential, which is closely related, remember, to potential energy. It's energy per unit charge. So zero volts always at the negative terminal and then whatever the um, EMF of the battery is that's the voltage gain we are going to for all of these problems we will ignore the internal resistance of the battery uh, for the AP folks we'll talk about internal resistance of a battery separately and how to calculate that so we're going to assume that we get um, five volts out of this battery no matter what okay <clears throat> So the current goes this direction. The first resistor has a resistance of 10 ohms. 20, I just made these up, 25 ohms here. And the third one is 15 ohms. So the current will go around and then come back down here. For those of you in the, in the AP class, when you, when you talk about the uh, electric potential, this is called a loop. And anytime you get back to the same point in a loop, you always end up at the same electric potential value. So whatever you gain, you're going to gain potential and lose potential as you go around the loop. You'll always come back to the same number, always. So if you're at zero here, the, in a battery, when you go from the negative terminal to the positive terminal, you gain always from negative to positive, you gain potential. So we gain five. And then by the time we come back here, we have to lose five to get back down to zero. That's true of any loop as you go around. This is related to Kirchhoff's rules. Again, that's for AP folks where we study Kirchhoff's rules. You've got, um, we'll talk about that more later on. But this loop will go all the way around and come back to zero. So you have a five volt uh, potential gain in the battery, and then you drop, you use up that potential as you go through the resistors. The way to write that is that that's the potential gain in the battery. And then this is the potential drop, the voltage drop over each resistor. Okay? So that's five, and these, the voltage is dropped. The ener think of the energy being used up in each resistor. Use up some energy here, use up some more here, and use up the rest there. You're back down to zero. Okay? Now, we'll do a little proof here, this really quickly. This EMF, the, this uh, is going to equal the current that goes through the circuit times the overall resistance of the uh, circuit, what we call the effective or equivalent resistance of the circuit. I'm going to put an S here, and the S stands for series. So what's the overall resistance of the entire series circuit? That's what that stands for. This is just Ohm's law, right? Um, now, this is the voltage dropped over the first resistor, which, as you know, in Ohm's law, it, delta B equals IR, so that's going to be the current that goes through that 
uh, first resistor times the resistance of the first resistor. This is going to be the current going through the second resistor. I mean, and then um, its resistance and the third resistor. Now, one of the key elements of a, re of, of a um, series circuit is that the current in the circuit is the same throughout. Okay, so the current that goes through the battery through here is the same current that goes through the first resistor is the same current that goes through the second resistor is the same current that goes through the res third resistor. It's the same. So that's really important. So the, the current, again, I, I could write that if necessary. Um, I for the whole circuit equals I1 equals I2 equals I3. Uh, the current's the same throughout a series circuit. Why is that important? Well, I can simplify this equation. All the I's are the same. You can factor them out and they cancel out. So to find the effective resistance for a series circuit, in other words, the total resistance for a series circuit, you just add up the individual resistances. It's very simple. So in this case, that's 10 plus 25 plus 15. And so what's that? It can be 30, 40, 50. 50 ohms. That's the overall resistance of this circuit. The next thing we do now that we know that, that we have 5 volts in the battery and that the overall resistance is 50 ohms, then what's the current that goes through the entire circuit? Well, we know that in this case, for the whole circuit, using Ohm's law, the EMF, think of that as a voltage, equals I times the resistance for the, for the whole circuit. All right, remember that we're ignoring any um, internal energy loss in our battery. So this would be five. We're solving for I for the whole circuit, and that's 50. And so divide through by 50, and I, so that's going to be uh, 0.1 amps, right? Now that we know that we have 0.1 amps coming out of the battery, going through the whole circuit, we know the current that goes through here, here, and here. It's the same 0.1 amps all the way through. That allows us to calculate the voltage dropped over each of these resistors. So let's calculate the voltage dropped over resistor 1. Well, it's going to be I times R1. Well, that's easy. That's 0.1 times 10 equals 1 volt. The voltage dropped over the second resistor, 0.1 times 25 which equals 2.5 volts. The voltage dropped over the third resistor. I can tell you already that it's going to have to add up to a 1.5 because it all has to add up to 5. You have 5 volts here, and so that means you have to use up 5 volts going through there. We've already used up 3.5, so the, re the last one must be 1.5. Let's calculate it, though, using Ohm's law just to verify that. So that's 0.1 times this 15 ohms or R3, and sure enough, that's 1.5 volts. Again, you can check, and that adds up to 5 volts, which is the same as there. So we have a 5-volt gain in the battery, and we use up the 5 volts in the resistors. You can also calculate the power um, that is used up, or the power of the output of each one of these resistors. And now, there's different ways we can use it. The simplest equation is just P equals I delta V. So let's just try that. So P1 equals I delta V1, and that would be what, 0.1 times 1, well that's easy, which equals, am I still on the, I'm getting to the edge there, huh? that equals um, 0.1 watts, that's the power output from that resistor, uh, this would be 0.1 times 2.5 would be 0.25. I'm going to just kind of short circuit this. <laughs> that's kind of a pun. Um, that's going to be, for, for a resistor number two, that'd be 0.1 is the current times the 2.5 volts. 0.1 times 2.5 equals 0.25 watts. 
and then the power output for number three would be its current times its voltage, 0 0.1 times 1.5. 0.1 times 1.5 times 0.1 times 1.5 is 0.15 watts. Okay, so there's the uh, power output for that circuit. You could also find the power output for the entire circuit by just multiplying the current times the overall uh, voltage, and that would be 0.1 times 5, which would be 0.5 watts for the whole circuit. You could get that also by adding these up. Those would add up to 0.5 watts. So that's the power output for that whole circuit. All right, that's kind of it for a series circuit.